So welcome friends, my name is Satiji Sahu and welcome to this new setup. Yes, so are you able to hear my sound properly? <laughs> Just tell right high. So we'll start the class. If you're able to hear it, please write yes. I'm coming up. So warm welcome. So today we have built a different setup. I will be standing and taking the class. So very nice. So today we have MSQ special for your building materials. Okay, MSQ special for your building materials. So before we start the class, a short introduction about myself. My name is Satyji Sahu. I have uh, 10 plus years experience in the field of gate and ESC. And uh, I have done my B.Tech and M.Tech both from IIT Khadakpur. And I have also cleared many of the PSUs and I teach all the civil engineering subjects. So today we'll be taking what? Building material. Yes. So now before the class, some announcements, some announcements for your future. So we have the mega mock test conducted by Baidu's exam prep. Gate exam is two months now. So you should be giving mock test. So this free mock test, this free mock test is available for the pre mock test is available for all the students. So please register for this particular mock test and you can judge your performance. Yes. And we have also the test series for whole gate and ESC. So if you want to give the full tests, the subject wide test and all, you can always register, you can always register. Okay. So Mr. Chetu is writing PDF of this session. Plus attend the session, <laughs> first attend the session and then you can discuss about the PDF. Right. So let us welcome uh, Raghavendra Naivedya. Afri, Dasutos, Nikki, Bipul, Chetu, Survi, Aptaf. So very nice to see all of you. <laughs> yes, very nice to see all of you. So we'll be solving MSQs. We're solving what? MSQs. So there will be multiple select. You have to answer in the comment section. Yes, you have to answer in the comment section. So please be ready. Okay, so the first question. Okay, the first question is on your computer screen. So answer this first question. The first question, please answer this first question. I'll just go out of the frame. <laughs> okay, answer, answer. I am, I am there, I am there, but I'm just coming. So answer. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So many students have answered B, C and D. Yes, B, C and D. The first one is written dicalcium aluminate. There's nothing like that, right? So this is the wrong one. Then we have dicalcium silicate. Yes, it is there. Then we have tricalcium silicate. Yes, it is there. And then we have tricalcium aluminate. There are four box compound, right? Namely what? Your tricalcium silicate, dicalcium silicate, then tricalcium aluminate. Last one is what? Your tetracalcium aluminoferrate. Yes. And all these things we have discussed in one video of box compound which came on this particular channel a few days before. You might have seen that. So those who answered B, C and D, they are correct. So let us go to the next question. Okay. Okay. Which of the following statements is and are correct? So have a very good look on the question and don't hurry and answer the question. Don't hurry and answer the question. I'll give you some time. Okay, please answer. Okay, so A, B, D, A, B, D, 
So A B D is the right answer. So that means you are a RCB fan then. I am a RCB fan. So answer is A B D. Yes. <laughs> yes, A B D. C three A is fast reacting with water. Yes, it is the fastest to react with water, and is responsible for what? Your quick setting or known as what? Flash set. And C three also has the highest heat of hydration right yes but c3a doesn't provide resistance against sulfur attack it is actually prone to sulfur attack right so third option is wrong and gypsum is what it is a retarder it is a retarder to prevent flash set due to c3 okay sabse pehle react karta hai we will see that we have a question for that okay yes so let us so the next question okay now answer this question which of the following statement is or are correct now answer this question i'll, I'll answer that question of yours isan Okay, 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 okay. The first answer is wrong. In rapid hardening cement, see there is difference between hardening and setting. So when we are talking about rapid hardening, that means what? The faster gain of strength. It means what? The faster gain of strength. And faster gain of strength is due to what? Due to C3S. It is due to C3S. See, there is difference between hardening and setting. Okay, setting is we can say that initial conversion of what losing the plasticity. Yes, but hardening is gaining strength. Understood? So A is wrong. A is wrong. C2S is increased in low heat cement. Yes, that is correct. Why? Because C2S has lowest heat of hydration. Second is correct. Rapid hardening cement has more fineness. This is also correct. Why? More fineness means what? More surface area. Okay, I'll just shift here. Okay, so more surface area. That will lead to what? Rapid hardening cement has what? More fineness compared to what? Your OPC. Now we saw that C3A is actually responsible for sulfate attack. So in C3A, the sulfate will be what? As we'll have. Sorry, in, C3, in the sulfate resisting, the C3A will be lower now because C3A is itself responsible for sulfate attack to to sulfur, right? And therefore, this is wrong. Yes, understood this question. Hope you're enjoying this today's new type of session. Yes or no? <laughs> we'll come and come with so many sessions in the upcoming times. Okay. So let us go to the next question. Oh, please answer this question. Please answer this. Yes, the answer is A, C, and D. Briquet test is conducted for what? It is conducted for the tensile strength of cement. It is conducted for what? It is conducted to find out the tensile strength of cement. Very good. So the answer is the BB consistometer test and the compaction factor test and the slum test. All three of them are conducted to find out what? The workability of concrete. Very good. Good students. Okay, answer this. <laughs> Composition of raw materials. So I will do some, you know, some small big. I can move backwards today. I can move. Oh, yeah. I can do some. I can move today. <laughs> 
earlier I was, you know, confined to the chair. Today I can do some movement also. <laughs> Please answer this question. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. No, not all the answers. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So which of the following composition in raw material for cement is or are correct? See, the first one is correct. Yes, the calcium oxide is around 60 to 65 percent. It is correct. Now, silica also ranges between, you know, 17 to 25 percent. So it is also correct. But alumina is not 18 percent. Alumina is not 18 percent. Alumina ranges from 3 to 8 percent. Okay, it ranges from 3 to 8 percent. So this is wrong. And magnesia is also correct because it varies from 1 to 3 percent. Yes, you don't have to remember the exact values, you have to remember the range. You have to remember the range. Very good. So how, 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 so we'll have a short break now. Not break means let us have a talk with all of you. Okay, so can you write the name of your place from where you all are just to interact with you. So you are attending this class from where? I am taking the class from Bangalore. Okay, so currently I am in Bangalore. So I am taking the class from Bangalore. Or I can say Bangalore. Okay, so I am live from Bangalore by Ju Studio. So you are from where? Okay, Rishabh, Rishabh Pant is attending from Delhi, Nagpur, Gujarat, Hyderabad. I have been to Hyderabad. I have been to Delhi. Gujarat, where Aptav? Nagpur, I have been to. Baranasi, I am still to visit. Bhuvneshwar is my home. Madhya Pradesh, I have gone. Odisha is a big place, so please specify. Bhagalpur, okay, so somebody is attending me Bhagalpur also. Patna, 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 Patna me kaha? Patna, Patna, Patna in Patna where? Boring Road or Kankarbag? <laughs> Vaisak, Haryana, near Ahmedabad. Ranchi, okay, Ranchi. I went to once Ranchi to DAV Ranchi. Okay, do you know Telugu, sir? No, I don't understand Telugu. But I have been in Hyderabad for around two years. So I don't understand it, but uh, I have a lot of Telugu friends. Okay, so that was a break. Let us come back to the class. So we have people from all Gwalioros. So people from all the parts of the country. Yes, congratulations. You see, that's the unifying factor, right? Although we are from all the parts of the country, we all are civil engineers. We are building uh, different parts of the country. In future, you will be part of different projects. Right? In future, you'll be part of different projects. And then you will be, you might be from Andhra Pradesh, but might be constructing a dam in Gujarat, right? You might be from Gujarat, you might be constructing a highway in Uttar Pradesh. That's the beauty of our nation, right? That people from different parts, they contribute in the development of not only their regional states and regional places, but all the country, right? Yes. So let us uh, study more so that we become, you know, a part of this development process. Okay. So next question, okay, now observe carefully, it is written what, which of the following is wrongly matched, so sometimes in the MSQs, they will write these words, so if the writing, which of the following is correct, very good, sometimes they will write wrongly matched or incorrect, so be careful of this, so answer this question. Okay, okay. See, Vicut apparatus we use for two things. The Vicut apparatus is used to find out the consistency. Yes, it is used to find out the consistency. And second is what? Setting time. So, it is used to find out the consistency and setting time. So, this option is wrong actually. So, therefore, it is the correct answer, right? <laughs> because here it is asked which is wrongly matched. Yes, wrongly matched. So, it is wrongly matched. Therefore, it is the correct answer, right? Now, briquette test is actually conducted for tensile strength. Yes, therefore, it is not the right answer, right? Because it is rightly matched, right? And then, Blaine permeability test. Blaine permeability test we use for what? For finding the fineness of cement. For finding the fineness of cement. And therefore, your... C is wrongly matched and therefore it's the right answer, right? 
and Lee Chatelier's test is used for soundness, right? Used for soundless. So this is the rightly matched or wrong answer. Understood? Very good. Okay. Now this is a good question. It's a good question. Okay. So the normal consistency of cement is mentioned. The normal consistency of cement P is given as how much? 28%. Now the water content for preparing the paste for various tests is given. Yes. There are standard formula. So whenever you're conducting a cement test, you have to add water, you have to form a paste, and then you will conduct the test, right? So for different test, different amount of water content is added, and that depends on the normal consistency value. Yes. So all these values are given. Use your memory to find out that formula and solve this question. I'll give you some time, and then I will only solve for you. So please solve this question. It will be a two mark question. Two mark question. So you might have forgotten the formulas. You might have forgotten the formulas. So I'll give you the formula. For setting time test, we take how much? 0.85 of P. For soundness test, we take how much? We take 0.78 P. For compressive test, we take how much? P by 4 plus 3 percent. Yes. And for tensile stress, we take how much? We take P by 5 plus 2.5. Remember these formulas, these are very important. And if this question is asked, they will ask a two mark question because you can see that so many formulas are involved. The rest other questions were one mark, but this question, if they ask, it will be what? It will be a two mark question, right? Yes. So let us forget the question. If I ask you, the P is given as 28 percentage. So for setting time, for setting time, how much water content you are getting? Tell me. For setting time, 0.85 of P. How much are you getting? Tell me. Put that in the comment section. For uh, this, how much are you getting? No, no, no. It is P by 4 plus 3. Some books, other books mention that. Okay. This what? This how much? Tell me. Tell me. This how much? 23.8 you are getting? 23.8 percentage. Yes. Yes. And then for your uh, the next one the soundness test means when you are conducting the test in Lee Chatterjee's apparatus so it is 0.78 p so how much you getting this 0.78 p how much you are getting tell me it will be less than that 21 point something will get how much you are getting this soundness test 21.8 yeah see for compressive test Okay, you can check the latest code also. For compressive strength, it is P by 4 plus 3. So, you'll get how much? You'll get 10%, right? P by 4 is 7, so you'll get how much? 10%. And for tensile strength, for tensile strength, how much you'll get? Tell me. For tensile strength, how much you will get? For tensile strength, it will be how much? Tell me the answer. It is P by 5 plus 2.5. So how much are you getting this? P by 5 plus 2.5. How much are you getting this? This 28 by 5 plus 2.5. So 28 by 5 will be 5.6. And then 7.6, 8.1, right? You're getting 8.1%, right? Yes or no? So how much are you getting? Please write in the comment section for tensile strength. Hmm? So you're taking so much time. 8.1, yeah. So if you see the options, see the options, then yes, for setting time it is correct. For soundness test it is wrong. Compressive test it is correct. Tensile strength it is wrong. So I can say A and 
C, A and C. Understood? Very good. Okay, okay, the correct order, order of many things. So, I, I have discussed about this in the video which I uh, gave in this particular channel a few days back. So, answer this question. Please answer. When I am comparing heat of hydration, yes, this is the right order, okay. C3A has, one second, some. C3A is 820. C3S is 500, C4AF is 420 and C2S is how much? 260. So this order is correct. Now when we are comparing the content percentage then also C3S is maximum, then C2S, then C3A and then C4AF. So A, B both are correct. But in rate of hydration, remember this, in rate of hydration, the C4AF, you see, heat of hydration of C3A is more, even content is also more compared to C4AF, but this person reacts little fast. So when I'm comparing rate of hydration, it is what? Comparing rate of hydration, this will be C4AF greater than C3A greater than C3S and the minimum one is C2S. So this is the wrong answer. Content wise also it's correct. Content wise is correct because you see C3S is maximum. Okay. And then C2S because both of them contribute about 80 to 85 percent. And then C3A around 10 to 15 percent. And C4AF is very less. 6 to 10 percent. Now strength also C2S is more now. Strength the order is what? C3S greater than C2S greater than C3A and then greater than C4AF. Now these orders are very important, they can ask in the examination and therefore I framed a question on this. Understood this question? Good question, right? Yes. Now all these questions are originally framed by me, not copied from somewhere else. <laughs> Next question. Okay, M25 concrete. Okay, sir, C4 F to PC. No, 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 no. C3A is more. C3A is more always. C4 AF is a very less contributor. Okay. Somebody came free, something, something. No, we don't want. We are studying here. So please get out. I am unable to
block that gentleman. So just ignore. Now what is the answer to this? Yes, for M25 concrete, the standard deviation is 4 MPa. Remember, for M10 and M15, the standard deviation sigma is how much? It is 3.5. For M20 and 25, it is 4. For M30 and above, it is 6. For M30 and above, it is 6. So it is what? 4. So this is wrong. Now, what is the FCK here? The FCK here is 25, right? Yes. And this is equal to FM minus 1.65 sigma. Right? So from here, I can find out FM is equal to how much? FM is equal to FCK 25 plus 1.65 into 4, giving me how much? 31.6. So this is wrong. This is correct. Understood everyone? Yes. So I can say this is your important table which you should remember for what? The standard deviation sigma. Understood? Next question. Okay, the yield strain for different grade of steel. You see, in your building material, we have steel properties and concrete properties also. So they can ask you this question also. Don't think that it is only RCC. This is part of building material. Because here, it's the property of different grade of steel. Because steel becomes a part of what? Building material, right? For gate examination. Yes. So please answer this question. If you know it, then very good. Otherwise, I will solve. Please try yourself. Yay! One second. No, 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 no. Actually, some problem happened. So I'm checking the comment from mobile. Okay. No, it's not that. When it yields, then we are asking the yield strain value. Now, for Fe 250, it's a mild steel, right? For mild steel, what is the expression? 0.87 Fy by the modulus of elasticity of steel. Now, these three are what? These three are your high yield strength deformed bars for this what is the expression 0.87 fy by es plus 0.002 right now tell me what is for fe 250 what is the strain you're getting for fe 250 how much strain you're getting please write in the comment section for fe 250 how much strain you're getting please write in the comment section now, this is the formula for mild steel this is the formula now, derivation of this I have done in the app, you can see. For now, this is the formula you can note down. 
Okay, so what is the for value? Tell me. For FE250, how much are getting? I am seeing your comments. Let me see who answers first. Please write in the comment section. Answer for the first one. FE250, how much are getting? Why you are not answering? Yes. It is what? It is 0 0.0011. So this is wrong. The yield strength for FE250 is not this. Now for FE415, we are getting correct. But for FE500, you are getting how much? You will be getting 0 0.0042, right? Okay? You are getting 0 0.0042. So your C is also wrong. For FE550, you will be getting how much? This is same value. So correct. Yes? Understood everyone? And you should remember that the modulus of elasticity of steel is how much? 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square. And this is valid for all grades. This is valid for all grades. Understood this question? Important question, right? They can ask one more question also. Yes. Understood? So here, your B and D are correct. Others options are wrong. Now answer this next question. But before that, uh, announcement. So we are coming up with not formula series, but formula test series. What is this formula test series? It's starting from 13th of December. It will be on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So what we're going to do is that we'll be asking you different formulas, a formula test kind of thing, right? So here, see normally what happens? We have formula series where we say a lot of formulas. So that we are just telling and you are just listening. You start feeling bored, right? You feel that mm, I can just download the PDF or I can just see the video later, right? But we have come up with this new series. In this new series, what we're going to do is that we are going to ask you which is the correct formula. So you'll be given options. Yes, you'll be given options and you have to answer the correct formula. So your formula memory will be tested. And this is starting from where? It is starting from 13th of December, means next week. We're going to start this from the next Tuesday only. We're going to start. So please attend this series and you can also test your formula. Now coming to the next all subjects. Yeah, all subjects, all subjects, all subjects, all subjects. Okay, so let us go to the next question. The next question is, okay, answer this question. Okay, people are answering A and D. Yes, the initial setting time of OPC is 30 minutes. Yes, and final setting time is 10 hours. So automatically these two answers are wrong. Very good. Go to the next question. Okay, okay, okay. So many things. Okay, so answer this question. Again, I'm giving you time. Okay, again A and D, yes. Now this you can remember by what? You can remember that, that the grade, when I say 33 grade, so when I say 33 grade or 43 grade, that indicates what? That indicates the 28 day strength, right? And remember that the 7 day strength is how much? The 7 day strength is 2 by 3 times of the 28 day strength. And the 3 day strength is how much? It is almost equal to the half of the 28th day strength. Now this two is approximate values and you should remember that. So for grade 33, 7 day will be how much? 2 by 3, right? So 2 by 3 of 33 will be how much? 
22 so the first option is correct now for 43 yes the three days times will be how much half of 43 that should be around 21.5 but it is mentioned 33 that means what it is wrong now for the 53 grade the seven days times will be what 2 by 3 of the 28th grade so it is almost 53 it should be almost how much it should be almost equal to I think 36 points, 36 around it should be. But the answer is given 44, so this is also wrong. Last option, 33 day, that is 33 grade, 28 day strength will be how much? 33 only, right? So this is correct. So by this, you can remember these two formulas. Okay? You see, since it's a gate examination, I have put theoretical questions also and numericals also. Yes, because gate will be a little different from your other examination and MSQs are asked in gate and therefore from building material, I have tried to put what? Questions which are also numerical in nature because it will be ready for both theoretical and numerical. Now the next question, okay, theoretical question, answer this. Which of the following are correct for concrete? A, B, C, D. How A, B, C, D? Plasticizers are water reducing agents. So they reduce the water requirement and increase your workability. Now what produce air bubbles? The air entraining agents, right? The air entraining agents, they introduce the air bubbles. The first option is wrong. Now cube strength is actually more than the cylinder strength, right? The cube strength is how much? It is 1.25 times of your cylinder strength. So I can say that your C option is also correct. And last option, yes, edge compaction factor increases, slum value also increases. Or I can say when the slum value is more, workability is more, even when the compaction factor is more, the workability is more, right? So B, C, D. Okay, now this question, which of the following is a non-destructive as option C, that is the that is the fact. That is the fact. You see, cube strength. Cube strength when we have 150, 150. Yes, and when we have a cylinder. Cylinder dimensions are how much? Standard dimensions are 150 and this is 300. That's a fact, right? Because the slenderness ratio is increasing, right? The slenderness ratio is increasing. When the slenderness ratio increases, the strength decreases. Therefore, the cube strength is 1.25 times of the cylinder strength. And I can say the reverse word. Cylinder strength is less than the cube strength, right? Or I can say that cylinder strength is 0.8 times of cube strength. Yes? Okay. So this question, which of the following is a non-destructive test of concrete? Please answer this question. Which of the following is a non-destructive test? Non-destructive. This is fast. You should answer this very fast. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It is A and D. See, non-destructive means when you're preparing the sample and the sample is not damaged. But when you are conducting the modulus of rupture test, right? Now conducting a modulus of rupture test, you are applying the load like this. And then you are measuring the load when, when you know, there is uh, failure uh, cracks at the bottom. That means what? You are cracking it. So this is definitely not a non-destructive. Even in splitting tensile strength, splitting tensile strength also you are applying the load in this manner. And you are seeing the load when the cylinder splits, the concrete cylinder splits into two parts. Right? So I can say that is also a destructive. But rebound hammer and ultrasonic pulse velocity test both of these are what? Your non-destructive tests and they are very important for your examination point of view also. The next question, which the following is wrongly matched for aggregate tests. So some aggregates also. 
<laughs> so everything I have tried to cover, you see cement, concrete, yes, the numerical sum concrete, numerical sum steel, now something on your aggregate also. So please answer this and again, it is written what? Wrongly matched. It is written what? Wrongly matched. So please answer this question. Now be careful it is written wrongly matched. So you have to answer which option is wrong, okay? Yeah, it is C and D. So you're all, all studying very nicely. Great students. Yes. Impact test we conduct for, for toughness, right? Very good. It's correct. And soundness test we conduct for durability or I can say your resistance to weathering, right? It is what? Resisting to weathering action. Now stripping value we test for what? It is for testing the addition with bitumen, right? It is to test the addition with bitumen. So, 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 so. This is what? This is wrong. So actually see, it is wrongly matched. So therefore it is correct. <laughs> yes, sorry. An abrasion test is for what? It is for hardness. For finding strength, which test we conduct? The crushing test, right? The crushing test. Okay, so nice. Now the last question. The code names. Normally we don't study the code names. But in the examination, they might ask you the code names also. So which of the following is rightly matched? You might not be knowing. You might not be knowing. But uh, try it once. Try it once. That let us see that you're able to answer this or not. Which of the following options is correct? Which of the following options are correct? They will ask you code names also if required. They can even ask to match the following also, right? So which answer is correct here? Let us see who answers this correctly. <laughs> guess also. Nobody is going to, you know, suit you. Have a guess work. A, B, C. Others. Please answer. Please answer. A, C. Hmm. Others. Others. And this is a very good question. <laughs> this question, all options are correct. <laughs> There might be an MSQ in the examination where all options might also be correct. So this is what? All options are correct. For workability tests like slum test, slum test, BB test, yes. And then compaction factor test all are mentioned in IS 1199. And then 4031 is for the physical tests on cement, right? All the tests of consistency, and then your uh, setting time, all those are mentioned in 4031, yes. And then aggregate tests are in 2386 and 516 gives us all the tests about the compressive test or compressive strength of concrete, yes. So whenever you're studying the tests, try to also remember the code names. They can ask you the code names also. So this was very good, okay. So what we will do is, what we will do is, you 16 questions were there, okay. So what you do, let us see how much score you got, okay? Let us see how much score you got and be honest, okay? Be honest. So I am telling you the answers, okay? So answers are there. So tell me what score you got. So first question, you can you can, you can can start scoring yourself, okay? Please open your pen and paper and tell me how many questions you solved correctly. First question, B, C, D. First question, B, C, D, okay? Second question is your A, B, D. Okay, third question is your B and C. Fourth question is your A, C, D. Okay, now fifth question is your A, C, D again. Now sixth question is A and C. Okay, now seventh question is again A and C. Okay, then eighth question Eighth question is your A and B, okay? Now ninth question is your A and D, okay? Now tenth question is your B and D, okay? Now eleventh question is your A and D again. Twelfth question is your again A and D, okay? 
Now, thirteenth question is your B, C, and D. Okay. Fourteenth question is your A and D, and fifteenth question is C and D. Yes. And your sixteenth question was all the options correct. A, B, C, D. Now count and tell your score. Out of sixteen, how much you got? Okay. Out of sixteen, how much you got? Please write in the comment section. Out of sixteen, how many uh, uh, how many correct ones you got? Let us see. <laughs> Thirteen, right? That's great, Vivek. Eleven, very good, very good, very good. Eleven, more, 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 more. Ten, not bad. Others, please write down. Eleven, very good. Eleven, very good. Nine, you have to improve. Okay. Eleven, very good. Eleven, very good. Ten is also good. Come on, come on, write down, write down, write down. Keep on writing, keep on writing. Ten, very good, very good. So if you have solved ten or more, then you are doing good. So if solved more than ten, you have done good. And next time you will be get sixteen, right? Yes. Next time score will be how much? Sixteen, right? So if these questions are asked in the examination, you are getting sixteen, right? Yes. So now whatever score you got, very good. So next time you will getting what? Sixteen because you will not be committing mistake in this. So similarly. Okay, eight. So you have to improve. Okay, very good. You have to improve. No problem. So, so similarly, we'll be conducting lot of sessions. Now, your job is to attend those sessions. Okay. So subscribe to the channel. I will request to all of you, please like this particular video. Okay. Uh, say or don't say doesn't matter, but at least like and subscribe to this channel because if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get the notifications, right? So you might be seeing the videos, but if you don't subscribe, there might be a class you might miss. Okay, therefore subscribe to channel. Okay, so on the Byju's Exam Prep app, Byju's Exam Prep app. So this is the YouTube channel. We have an app also. So in Byju's Exam Prep app, we are conducting a rank booster series every Thursday and sorry Tuesday and Wednesday. Please attend that. Okay, it's on the app, and we are also conducting this Gate Fundamental series on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And in this tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday, right? Tomorrow is Friday, right? Yes, I think Friday. I think Friday. Yeah. So tomorrow I will be taking on the app 6 p.m. So on Friday 6 p.m. I will be taking a session on fluid kinematics in the app. Okay. So please attend that session on fluid kinematics. Okay. And on Saturday 6 p.m. I will be conducting a quiz also on fluid kinematics. So what we will do? I will teach some important topics. From fluid kinematics on the app tomorrow, 6 p.m. is tomorrow, right? And then on Saturday, I will be conducting a quiz also. So please attend this. Please attend this, okay? And then we have this mega mock uh, test being conducted from 13 to 20. So register for this. You will get the video solutions also, and you'll get the percentile scores and every analysis. And then we have a test series for GATE and ESC. It's a very nicely curated test series, okay? So I have also uh, contributed in it. You have seen the nature of questions which I have given here. So similar questions are there in the test series also. So please attend the test series, okay? And then those who want to avail the full courses and want merit scholarships, for that we are conducting a 90% scholarship test on 10th of December, means Saturday 8 p.m. You can give the scholarship test also. Now we are conducting many series, so I will tell you the upcoming classes. So today. 10:30 p.m. so not today tomorrow so friday 10:30 p.m. abhinav sir will be taking a class on what your piezometer head okay so please attend that and then on saturday 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 okay saturday there is also a session on what 7 p.m. the session on your transportation msqs by joseph sir okay these are upcoming sessions i am informing you and i am going to take on saturday 8 pm saturday 8 pm will be solving 10 important numericals from where from your air pollution so those who want to have you know this complete understanding of questions being asked in air pollution numericals i'll be solving numericals only okay please attend this session on saturday so we'll be meeting on saturday okay and then on monday monday those who are preparing for your ts psc A examination, Telangana State Public Service Commission A examination, which is on 23rd of June. 
I'll be conducting a session where I'm discussing the previous question, strategy and syllabus. So if you have some friends who are giving your TSPSC exam, you can tell them, you can inform them about session. Also, when you attend these sessions, this session will help you in any public service examination, right? See, all of you might be from some state, right? See, any public service examination, let that be UP or MP, yes? Just this first uh, two letters change, right? It might be UP, right? It might be MP, yes, it might be OPAC, it might be Kerala, it might be Karnataka, yes, it might be Andhra Pradesh, it might be Tamil Nadu, it might be Madhya Pradesh, it might be Rajasthan, right? So any state exam you are targeting, this session will help you to orient yourself and understand the questions which are asked in the examination. This I will conduct on Monday, means 12th of December, night, your evening 6 p.m. So please attend this session, okay? And we have daily dose videos. Every day morning we are posting one video, five minutes, okay? Either a question or an important concept. So please see those videos. You will be immensely benefited by all this session. So, I, so we are meeting, so you can attend the other sessions by Avinav sir and Joseph sir tomorrow Friday and Saturday 7 p.m. So Saturday 8 p.m. let us meet again with the numericals of air pollution and tomorrow let us meet on the app with fluid kinematics. Thank you very much. Okay. See HSP, HP, HPSC A. Same. A examination is same. That's what I told, right? If you are appearing for Telangana State Public Service Commission or Andhra Pradesh or you know Himachal Pradesh or any state, the preparation more or less remains same. Yes. So please attend this session and solve the questions which will be discussed in this. This will help you in all the state service examination. Okay. Thank you very much. See you again. Bye.